Now to a live look from Austin where one special session ended today and a second is already underway. Governor Abbott says he'll keep calling the House and Senate back until they strike a deal on property tax relief. Uh, let's bring in Teresa Woodard for a look at what's happened, what's supposed to happen in this special uh, se second special session. Yeah, Chris, the big unknown is whether anything is going to happen after a 140 day regular session and that 30 day first special session. The House and Senate both want to cut property taxes, but they cannot agree on how to do it. Property tax relief is the only thing the governor put on this second special session agenda. Abbott has backed the plan that the House passed in May. It's called compression. It sends billions of dollars to school districts to reduce your taxes. The Senate's plan goes further, increasing the homestead exemption. That's the portion of your home that is exempt from property taxes. Tonight, it looks like the stalemate over those plans continues. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick said tonight the Senate insists on a homestead exemption. Quote, we will pass the same bill that we passed to the House last week that cuts school property taxes for the average homeowner by nearly 43 percent, almost double the tax cut one would receive with only compression. Well, Governor Abbott says he wants to see compression and he also wants to see legislation to put Texas on a path to eliminate the largest portion of school property taxes. That would take years to implement, though. The governor ordered this second session to begin at 3 o'clock this afternoon. The House and Senate will actually gavel back in at 11 tomorrow morning. Now remember, these special sessions come at a cost to taxpayers, somewhere between $1 and $3 million per session.